What is up, guys? It is J-Rob back here again with you guys for another hole this week in the Golf Clash Library. We are going to be going over Grunberg Slopes, hole number one here, par four. So definitely pay attention. We're going to jump right into it. After this, if you guys have not already, definitely hit that subscribe button, click that bell for all notifications on, and enjoy the Golf Clash content. Now let's jump over to Grunberg Slopes. What is up, my favorite group of people? How are you guys doing today? This is hole one, par four for Grunberg Slopes. So what we're gonna do here is split that fairway on the second uh, island fairway there from that rough island patch and that left little curve uh, rough line there. And uh, my adjustment here for 10.1 miles per hour is going to be just outside of the white ring here because we have a 5% elevation that we're going to account for here and what we're going to do is try to split that fairway uh, bounce over the shot. bunker uh, from the first uh, fairway here and we're going to bounce over and split that rough patch on the right and that rough patch on the left and get down here in the middle of that fairway as far as we possibly can to set ourselves up for a really nice second shot here so basically this shot here is going to be played at mid distance of our short iron so what we're going to have to account for is uh, a little bit less of a wind adjustment that uh, our club is going to um, you know not move as much as it should because we're not using the max distance of our club so basically my wind adjustment here for 7.9 miles per hour with a level 5 thorn would be right to the outside of the clear ring at max distance but what I did was move it to the, the clear ring and I should have what I should have done here is moved it just outside Big of shot. the blue ring because I moved this for a max distance adjustment nice instead of a medium distance adjustment here so I want you guys to correct that shot here uh, depending on how far down there you get I had a pretty nasty headwind so you guys might be able to get down there a little bit farther so you might actually be more towards minimum distance of your club so definitely pay attention to that and make sure that you have a nice adjustment all right so as always at the end of our golf clash library hole we have a shootout here for you guys so this is hole number six par three for glen monarch estates i believe this is a 3c uh if i am correct um what we're going to do here is play this with a 30 percent elevation uh we're going to play it with just a hair of top spin with a bounce over the water shot here you could see i moved it one uh target over to the white ring then also over to the clearing again and then also to just almost to that blue ring in which i should have moved it to the blue ring but i only moved nice it to the red so you could see that we came in there just a little bit 10 percent to the left there uh so what we're going to do uh as we watch my opponent's shot here is try to correct uh, what exactly he did wrong by uh, watching what I did right here um, even though I wasn't a hundred percent spot on uh, because what he does here is he basically does almost the same shot as I do here uh, he doesn't use uh, the, the uh, top spin that I did he just kind of went with a straightforward shot um, but what he does is he only moves his ball you know his his ball guide about a target size over to the right only adjusting for his wind uh, so as you're gonna see he comes in here way to the left uh, because you know he did not account for any elevation whatsoever so definitely keep that in mind guys when you're playing in the higher tours that is going to be the wrap up for today's video guys if you guys have not already definitely please hit that subscribe button it is a hundred percent free it definitely helps support us and we are going to be making a ton of golf clash content coming up we keep up with every tournament guides golden shot guides we're going to be coming out with tons of tour guides and we are bringing you the golf clash library so definitely like the video hit that subscribe button click the bell and we will see you guys around 
Thanks a lot, guys. J-Rob from Team Energy Golf Clash, Audi 5000. Catch you guys around.